Hello everyone and welcome to Make with Ajay. I'm Ajay and today I'm going to be showing you how to customize your own shoes. Yes, we are going to be painting on Vans of the wall. I love these shoes so much. I love my Vans. Well, and we are mostly going to be using Posca pens to do that. Yes, we are going to be painting on our Vans shoes using Posca pens. I totally love Posca pens. I've been using them for quite some time now and I totally love the fact that they're water-based acrylic pens and can be used on any kind of surfaces and uh, the best thing about them is their precise application especially for those teeny tiny details that you need on small surfaces like shoes and any other surface. And I know mostly uh, you guys would be thinking uh, most of the customizers paint their shoes with Angelus paints. Well, I went outside to look for the Angelus paints and for some reasons they were not available in stores. I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, we're going to make shift with whatever we have got over here. And oh my god, look how beautiful these lamps are so crisp and black yes i have chosen black vans because i'm going to be painting on a galaxy theme these vans i'm customizing them for one of my friends who is a fan of star wars so yes if you're also a fan of star wars just stay tuned because we are going to be creating a star wars fantasy on these shoes <laughs> i'm so excited for this so yes Let's get started. Let's paint our shoes. Okay, so as I said, I will be customizing these shoes on a Star Wars theme. Um, I'm thinking of uh, making the droids on these shoes. I love the droids from Star Wars. Maybe R2-D2 on this one and BB-8 on this one. Uh, let's see, like, I'm not sure on that, if I'll be keeping both the shoes um, for droids or if I'll be drawing something else on this one. But yeah, let's tackle one shoe at a time. Let's just take this shoe away and uh, only work on this one for now. I am thinking of drawing a BB-8 on this one. So here I'm just using a few bottle caps to draw the circles for BB-8. And uh, yeah, I recently also discovered that this gel pan from Sakura, these are called jelly roll pans from Sakura. They are absolutely wonderful. Like they glide on the canvas surface so well, they're so smooth and you can clearly see the white color coming through. They are the best pens to draw on such a dark surface and uh, yep i will be drawing everything using these pens and the best part is that these pens are available in uh, different points like different nib points so you can use them to make bolder details or even finer details like how i'm doing right now so uh i hope you enjoy seeing me making these details using this pen these are a total must have
So now I'm using the same jelly roll pen from Sakura but in number 10 to draw these thicker, more bold uh, border lines. I love how it's giving this bold dimension to the outside of the drawing. And now here I'm just using the same techniques on the second shoe in order to draw R2D2. I am just trying to decide which bottle cap will best suit the circle for the R2D2 silhouette. I'm also putting some scrap paper inside the shoe to make it more sturdy, to make the surface a bit more hard and sturdy in order to draw perfectly. And here's a better process of the entire drawing. I hope you enjoy it. And now I'm using my Cricut Maker 3 machine to cut the stencils for the Star Wars logo that I'm deciding to put on each one of the shoes. I took an image of the Star Wars logo from the internet, put it on my Cricut Design Studio and uh, got them cut on this uh, removable vinyl. It's a smart vinyl that came with the machine and uh, it makes the entire process of making stencils really easy. And now I'm just placing the stencil on where I want the logo on the shoe and I'm using a heat gun to heat up the stencil so that the glue may adhere more on the canvas surface. This makes the stencil stick properly and I'm just using a little sponge to dab some white paint on the stencil. And here I'm transferring the stencil on a transfer sheet to put it on the next shoe. And I use the same process with a heat gun and dabbing the stencil with a white sponge in order to transfer the design onto the shoe. Posca pens work great in order to hide or refine any mistake or details on the stencils. And now I'm just using orange Posca pen to bring in that really famous orange color of BB-8. So this is just the first layer. I know that the orange color is not as vibrant or visible on the black surface, but uh, just stay tuned, I will be layering it with um, multiple layers of orange and at the end this will come through. But I'm really loving this muted look of orange colour. It's going with the overall black theme really well. And similarly, here I'm using a blue Posca pen to bring in that really famous blue color for R2-D2. And after I'm done with the coloring part, I'm coming back with the white gel pen to define the lines a bit more. And here I'm just drawing some stars in the background with the same gel pen to give it that space look. I also decided to draw something related to the droids at the back of the shoe and I'll be using the same colors as the droids to define those details as well.
And now I'm just coating the entire shoe with a thin layer of matte Mod Podge. I will not be using the Mod Podge to coat the entire shoe. I will only use it on the area where I have painted. I love Mod Podge and especially the matte one as a finisher for many surfaces that I paint on. And uh, we are done. Here's a before and after shot of the shoe. I really love how they turned out. I love the muted orange and muted blue color on both the shoes. I didn't want them to be too vibrant. And I'm totally loving how it looks like as if I've drawn on a chalkboard using a chalk. Wow, that can be another look. I can use the similar techniques to maybe make a chalkboard shoe in future. <laughs> but yeah, I'm totally, totally loving how these shoes turned out. I'm loving the detail of the Star Wars logo. And I'm also loving the details that I did at the back. I hope you're loving these shoes as much as I enjoyed making them. And here's another before and after photograph of the shoe. Wow, I can't wait to give these to my friend. So that was it for today. Thank you so very much for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel if you like this video and hit the like button. Also, please press the bell notification icon so that you may be notified for any other future videos that I'll be posting. We are going to make this world beautiful one thing at a time. You're going to have so much fun. Thank you so much. Bye.